Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we will be looking into the introduction to Hadoop at a glance. To start off with the introduction of Hadoop, we will first look at the definition of it. So here is the definition of Hadoop. And the definition says that Hadoop is an Apache open source framework written in Java that allows distributed processing of large datasets across clusters of computers using the simple programming models. So that's a quite long definition. So let's break it and see each part of it one by one. So the first part says that Hadoop is an Apache open source framework, which means it can be used by anyone as it is free to use and also it is founded by Apache. And note that Hadoop is a framework. Now coming to the next part, it is written in Java. The entire source code which supports different functionalities inside it is entirely written in Java language. Next part is that it allows distributed processing of large data sets. Now as I said that big data deals with larger data. So in this particular large data, if we try to process it in a centralized architecture, then it will be really a difficult task. Hence, a distributed processing architecture is followed for dealing with larger data sets. Now, the next part is across different clusters of computers. Now, this processing will take place across different computers and these computers are divided into different form of clusters and these clusters collectively will try to process the data at its level using simple programming models. Now there will be some algorithms which will be followed for processing this distributed data and those algorithms are nothing but these simple programming models. So now I hope you have understood that it is an Apache open source framework which is entirely written in Java and it follows the distributed processing architecture of comparatively larger data sets using simple programming models. So now that we have seen at the introduction of it, now we will see the advantages of using Hadoop. So first advantage is that there is low network traffic. Now you can see that there are different clusters of computers that are divided and on that particular clusters we are, we are going to process the data. So obviously there will be low network traffic and everything will be systematically driven. Second it is open source. Most importantly it is free and it can be used by anyone at any time. So it's a huge advantage. The next advantage of Hadoop is that it has high fault tolerance. So there might be a case that sometimes the system might go faulty. Now in that case, there is a backup option also. We will see in detail how it is fault tolerant in the upcoming videos because we are going to learn it inside the architecture of Hadoop. So hence it has high fault tolerance capacity. Next and the most important advantage is that it is scalable. Now there might be a case that you want to increase the size of the data set or there might be a case that you want to decrease the size of the data set. So if you are doing that, the number of clusters of computers that is going to be used for processing can be scaled in an easy way and hence it will reduce the cost of the resources. And the fifth advantage is that it is flexible. So I hope you are now aware of this most important five advantages of Hadoop. There are many more advantages of Hadoop. Try to post other advantages of Hadoop in the comment section. So now that we have seen the advantages of Hadoop, now it's time to look at the cons of it. So let's have a look at it one by one. So the biggest disadvantage of Hadoop is that it lacks in security because the name node component of Hadoop as well as the authentication server inside it is vulnerable to denial of service attacks. Also at the storage and network levels, Hadoop does not provide encryption. Also Hadoop uses Kerberos authentication which is really hard to manage. Hence security is a major concern inside it. Next disadvantage of Hadoop is issues with the small files because small files consumes a block individually which leads to excessive memory requirements as well as the access time and, and the processing time also increases. And therefore it won't work good if a lot of small files are fed into it. So 
let's have a look at the next disadvantage of it which is that Hadoop is more vulnerable because Hadoop has a weak configuration of the default settings such as the default ports and the IP addresses they are most vulnerable and can be easily exploited. This makes it more vulnerable to the cross-site scripting attacks and therefore this is also one of the bigger concerns. The next disadvantage is it has no real-time processing. It takes a large data set as an input and it will process it and give a large output. The very concept of MapReduce inside it is towards the batch processing rather than the real-time processing. Hence, when we are talking about the real-time processing of data, it is difficult. The next disadvantage of Hadoop is that it is difficult to use. As a beginner, it's very difficult to learn how to use Hadoop because many people find it difficult and also are prone to different errors while working directly with the Java API. This puts a limitation on the usage of Hadoop only by the Java developers because they can only very well understand the insights of it. So that was all about the introduction of Hadoop. I hope you have understood. If you have any doubts, you can post it in the comment section. I'll be happy to solve it. If you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell icon. Follow me on Instagram. Thank